Hey guys, it's Landon from RH, and in this video, I'm going to show you how the alignment snaps work in Inkscape 1.3. This is another one of the videos I'm, I'm doing on some of the new features in Inkscape. Let me apologize right at the beginning here because my wife is talking to one of our family friends about a new baby girl, and so you may hear some of that nonsense in the background. All right, so uh, I I found the alignment snaps to be extremely irritating until I figured out how they work and now I think they're pretty cool. Um, and this is one of those few areas where Inkscape does actually a better job I think than, than most of the CAD software I use. So I wanted, uh, I wanted to do a video that just showed specifically how the alignment snaps work. I have another recent video that go over the other snaps. but So I have three shapes on my canvas here, I've got two rectangles blue, bright green, and a red. And I just want to show you how we can move these shapes around and how the alignment snaps will uh, will work. So in order for this to, to, to function, you need to have the, this box checked here in your snap settings alignment. And then I find it, it works better if you just, if when you're doing this, if you have a grid and your grid snaps turned off. Okay, so what, what it's going to do is I, is I grab the circle and move it around here, is it's going to, um, it'll show us when we line up with some of the other uh, lines kind of snap up you can almost think of them like guides some of the snap guides on the other shapes so if I grab close to the center of the circle here you can see as I move the shape around I'm getting these little lines those are the alignment snaps so let's just look at some of the different ones I'm gonna zoom in here a little bit okay so as I move as soon as I, I get down here, so now it's aligning the bottom of the bounding box of my red circle with the top of the bounding box of the blue rectangle. Now it's going to give me the center, and I can actually slide along that. They're a little finicky. So you can actually slide along that. Okay, and then you can see if I want to, I can actually line this up. There it is. Now it's, it's aligning to the edges of a bounding box of both rectangles there, so the center of my circle. Okay, so same thing as I as I move down here, right? And it'll give me center, center. So there's the bottom of the blue rectangle bounding box and the center of the green rectangle. So it's actually pretty slick and it, it can actually save you from having to do a lot of stuff. Now, because I'm dragging it from the center, I'm getting mostly center snaps, but we can change that. If I drag from the bottom, you'll see I get some different results there, right? A little bit different results. Now, not only does it do alignment, but it also does distribution. So this is kind of like a, a, a live action or, or hot alignment and distribute tool. Um, so the other way to do this, you know, is to open up your, oh, it's right here, alignment and distribute dialog. If you don't see it, it's it's down here. Um, so this is like a, a live action or a hot version of that align and distribute tool because you'll notice it'll also give me equal distances. So as I hover the circle, when I get the circle to the spot where the gap between the the circle and the green rectangle is the same as the gap between the green rectangle and the, and the blue rectangle, I get that snap. And so like there, now that's cool, there's both. So right there, the center of my circle is aligned with the left edge of the green rectangle and at the same gap as uh, up above there, as you can see. Uh, so that that's super slick, right? And by the way, I've been moving the circle around, but the same concept applies. Um, the same concept applies uh, with the rec. If I move one of the rectangles, I I'm going to start snapping too. So let me just show you this. So now I can I can slide along. I was hoping it would give me the same gap. Let's move this down a little bit. So it'll give me the same gap here. There's the same gap as the rectangle centered on. Okay, so right now the blue rectangle is centered on the red circle and the gap between the blue rectangle and the red circle is the same as the green rectangle and the red circle right there. Okay, so very cool tool. And the way you turn that on again is right here in your snaps. Okay, and you can snap to nodes in the same path. That's an option in the same distances. So very cool tool, and I'm going to start using it some more. Uh, it'd be cool if CAD okay, got some of that same functionality, I think. All right, short video, guys, but thanks for watching. Appreciate it.